Ring Walk Danny here in San Francisco with the one and only Mr. Eddie Hearn. Whereas uh, uh, Americans I'm gonna like sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. Hang on. Bless you. No, I'm good. Hold on. If you look up at the light, I think. <laughs> Excuse me. Right, we're good. It looks like that light's positioned perfectly yeah, on know, you, just shining okay. down. Eddie, we're in San Francisco and phenomenal promotion. I've been telling you off camera. Phenomenal promotion. Every street corner, we see the poster. Uh, for the fight, the dream is coming. Uh, I was at the Warriors game last night, huge on the Jumbotron, yeah. the crowd went crazy. I know uh, they had Regis there uh, for the game as well as Devin. Just your thoughts, I know it's your first time coming to San Francisco. Have expectations been met? Yeah, I mean, look, there hasn't oh. been there hasn't been a fight here for over two decades. You know, and, and when we came here, we were definitely rolling the dice. But why shouldn't the fight work here? You know, Devin's from the Bay Area, his family's from the Bay Area. Um, it's a sports city. And it's got a fantastic arena with a big database and they've got behind it as well. So from Matrim's side, from the fighters' side, everything's worked incredibly. And, uh, you know, looking forward to a huge show on Saturday. Were expectations kind of broken away? Yeah, as, sure. as you said at the press conference, more and more sections had to be open. You know, it's been a phenomenal turnout. Just want your yeah, thoughts. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, you know, it was really a case of we hoped to do seven or eight thousand. Could we fill the bottom tier? Then we filled the bottom tier. Let's open a top tier. Can we do a couple of blocks? Can we sell the whole thing out? And now we're going to do it. So yeah, it's been it's been amazing. Tough, tough, tough fight for Devin to debut at a 140 pounds against arguably the hardest hitter at 140 pounds in Regis Prograde. Talk to us about getting the fight done and the promotion, the lead up, the build up for this fight. Uh, how's that been in your opinion? Yeah, I mean, I think the build up's been perfect. You know, it's a great fight. It's a 50 50 fight, in my opinion. You know, Devin comes in as undisputed champion off a great run, uh, fighting, I think, probably the most dangerous guy at 140. Big puncher. Um, it's an intriguing fight, one that everybody's talking about and uh, looking forward to it. Now, I know you have uh, options on Devin for his next fights. Um, I know there's been some interest uh, from the Middle East, not to look past Regis, but could we see a, a huge mega fight for Devin in the Middle East, po possibly Saudi Arabia yeah. in 2024? Yeah, maybe. I mean, look, he's got to get past Saturday first, but they're obviously very interested to bring big fights to Saudi Arabia, and, and Devin is one of the biggest stars in the sport. But you know, Regis wins on Saturday, and he's one of the biggest stars in the sport. So for both guys, there's a lot on the line this weekend. From your eyes, from your point of view, obviously you can speak for Matchroom, but who is the biggest fight possible and the biggest fight next for the winner Saturday night? Uh, you know, you got for me, the winner should be fighting Ryan Garcia. Everybody's on the same platform. Ryan Garcia should be trying to fight the best in the division, should be trying to win world titles at 140, and I think it's an easy fight to make. Would you make it his most recent performance this past Saturday on the zone? You know, I, thought, I felt like he was up against it. You know, with all the shit going on, I think he done well to compose himself. Oscar Duarte is limited, but he's heavy-handed, and his career was on the line really. And with all the stuff going on and the criticism from his own team, I think he, he held it together well. We were here. Uh, I'm sorry. We were in Las Vegas two years ago for the Devin Haney and Jojo Diaz fight, and I remember you and I speaking about big things to come the following year. I'm curious what what's cooking for match and what can the fans expect in 2024. You know, you're always. I feel like you're the innovator. You're the guy yeah, that leads the way. Yeah, just more the same. I mean, our schedule, particularly in the last couple of months, has been unrivaled. You know, obviously, Katie Taylor, big sellout uh, last week in Belfast. Haney Progray, bam, against Sonny next week. Huge the fight. day of reckoning in, in uh, Saudi Arabia, probably the card of the year. And that's the plan, just to continue to schedule, keep delivering great value for fight fans, and uh, on we go. Where is one location that you want to host a fight next year that you haven't yet, or a big, mm. big name location? I'm very happy you guys are back in Monaco, yeah. by the way. Yeah, very yeah, happy Monaco is great. Uh, obviously, we'll be in Tokyo now as well with our Japan deal. Beautiful. And, um, you know, look forward to plenty more big start fights in the States. I mean, it's great to come to a new fight city like San Francisco, and I think we should explore those fight big sports cities that have been starved of boxing for many years. Now, lastly, we are here, uh, Cold Drive in San Francisco. Yeah. How'd you get Devin to come out the day before the yeah, weigh-in? Because you know? I think it's important to give back to the community while you're yes, here. Yes, absolutely. You know, of course, promotion's good, but you really need to be on the ground giving people opportunities everlast. You know, big shout out to them for providing jackets and, and t-shirts. Sponsor of and, Matchroom yeah, Boxing and, and Devin Haney. And Devin Haney. Yes. So, 
you know, it's, it's ma massive for, for these kids to come out and around Christmas time, get their hands on some apparel and kit and fight kit and hopefully get them down to the gym, stay active and stay positive. Eddie, I appreciate the time. Yes, uh, look forward to speaking to you as the uh, rest of the week and a uh, huge event this Saturday night. Look forward to it. Yes, Cheers. sir. Thank what you. What up, YouTube family? Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help us get to that million subscribers. We're on the road to a million. And obviously, we have other great content on our Patreon channel. So since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content or right here on our YouTube members.